Hello, my name is John Carney. I'm a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of our preliminary storm damage survey page and also the damage viewer page uh, from the National Weather Service and how to get, uh, get around, look at the pictures, and also extract data from the page. Real briefly, this is our new uh, preliminary storm damage survey page. It's going to have a map of the uh, the storm uh, damage that we've surveyed uh, with uh, points and a damage path. Uh, this is all just a static image. Uh, to get to the actual information that you need, uh, you'll need to click on this image or this link to go to the damage viewer. Uh, below the map we'll also have the uh, typical public information statement with a brief uh, storm survey summary. And we're going to go ahead to the uh, damage viewer page. And the first thing you'll have to do is select the office that uh, you'll be interested in. And for us, of course, it'll be St. Louis. And here we are. And you'll notice that the map zooms in to our area. Just continue here. And the next thing you'll have to do is come up here to the upper right hand corner and select some dates that uh, you're interested in. So uh, let's look at all of our tornadoes in the last year. So we'll go from February 1st, 2016 to let's say February 27th. Then you hit, click the filter button and it'll go ahead and bring up all of our uh, storm damage surveys within the last year. So let's go ahead and zoom in and look at some damage here. This was an event that occurred in April of 2016. We had a couple of small tornadoes and an area of enhanced wind damage. And to look at damage, just click on the Identify toolbox here. This is the little pencil icon at the top of the screen. And we'll zoom in a little bit further and look at this tornado. Just click a damage point to get all the information on it, including the EF rating and estimated wind speed. You'll also see uh, that it highlights the path of the tornado as well. And as you move from box to box in the Identify Toolbox, each uh, polygon on the screen will get identified. And if you want to look at the pictures in full resolution, just click on the picture there in the box and you'll be uh, sent to the picture that was taken during the damage survey in high resolution. If you want to get this data out of the National Weather Service database and into say uh, Google Earth or another GIS um, program, you can use the extract tool here up at the top of the screen. And what you want to do is start drawing a polygon by clicking on the polygon tool here and just start clicking to create this polygon and double click when you're done. That sends a job to the server to extract all those points and put them together in a KML file for you. And when it's done you'll get a link to the KML file. And here's the link. Just click on it to download. Once it's done downloading, you can click to open it up. And we launch Google Earth here as our default GIS viewer. Or you can put it into any GIS viewer that will accept a KML file. And there's your uh, damage survey uh, in Google Earth or whatever program you're going to use. And all of the pertinent information is in the KML file, including links to the pictures. So if you just want to select that same point, uh, click on it, and you'll have all of the information about that point, including a link to the high-res picture. If you have any questions about using the Damage Viewer uh, website, please uh, don't hesitate to drop us an email at w-lsx.webmaster at noaa.gov. Uh, it may take a day or so to get back to you, but we do read all of our webmaster email and reply. 
Uh, also, you can give us a call at 636-447-1876. Thanks for watching.